It does seem like we're seeing changing attitudes on when Colorado's snowy days turn into snow days. More schools and more businesses are telling people to just stay home when honestly, it's not that bad in most places. Our Steve Steger set out to learn if our hunch is accurate. What we do a lot of times is tell people if they can go home from work early, do it. Okay, it isn't just us noticing it more. CDOT spokesman Bob Wilson says the state started using that message more frequently because it works. Once we started using that message, we noticed a lot of people started uh, getting off the roadways. And CDOT leads by example in this case. When government closes early, businesses tend to follow their lead. For the most part, we follow what the city is. Um, if the city closes, we will also close. Alex Neal runs marketing for Thrive Workspaces. He says they'll keep their employees home if government agencies do too, but the workspaces are still open 24-7. A lot of the workforce is moving towards a freelance thing, and you know, projects have to get done, and uh, there's a lot of deadlines that have to be met. Across town, the office was practically empty at the accounting software firm Zero. Yeah, I sent a note out via our Slack channel to the Denver office saying, you know, the, the snow is coming. They're predicting it's going to pick up in the afternoon. HR lead Janet Galbraith says these days, just about everyone has the capability to work remotely. We realize people can be more productive uh, sitting in their home office or at their kitchen counter than trying to get on I-70 and I-25 to get to the office. Something that's been a battle in the past in other jobs. Here, it's basically just a given. Ten years ago, I would say it wasn't as much that case with leadership having that openness to things. So obviously, flexibility depends on the job. Case in point, yeah. Uh, there are no firm stats on this, but the people that we've chatted with around town today say a whole lot more businesses are closing on snow days, partially because you've got kids who may be out of school, you got to take care of them, and you just have that ability to work remotely a lot more than you ever used to. Sure, I, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it like that. I mean, you know, if if my grandfather took a snow day, then there was nobody to signal the train. Yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah, well, and, and you got to think, I mean, there are people who have to work on days like police officers, sure. firefighters, people who work in hospitals. But there are a lot of people who can take their computer home and do all of that work at home. It was I, interesting, Bob Wilson, yeah. Bob Wilson from CDOT was, had a fascinating point on this. He said, you know, I went to Denver Public Schools and all those years ago, he said, you never got a snow day, even in the school district. But he said now, as he's worked at CDOT for 22 years, he's noticed that the messaging has really changed to try to keep people safe and to let them have the space to do their work and clear off the roads. I often think that that's myth making when people say, oh, I didn't have snow days when I was a kid. We never took a day. But Bob Wilson at CDOT, he's in a position to actually study it and know. So I believe it when he says it. Yeah, all right. me too.